already made the decision to keep California schools closed for the rest of the school year. And Congressman Devin Nunes called that overkill, quote unquote. And he insisted that kids could have gone back to school in two weeks or four weeks. How do you respond to that, Governor? Well, I don't want to give him much air. He, I have not sourced him for advice on, on pretty much any issue. And I say that as respectfully as I can, but particularly on public health issues. Um, you know, he's made some statements in the past that were not consistent uh, with the advice and counsel that I've gotten from the experts. And so we'll continue to listen to the experts, uh, try to avoid uh, some elected officials that frankly may not have the benefit of some of the insight that many of us do here. And when I say here, quite literally where I'm sitting uh, today, it's the Emergency Operations Center at the state of California. A thousand plus people strong, federal government, uh, private sector, Sectors, local and state government, all coming together, cross-pollinating with ideas and perspectives, constantly iterating, getting new information from around the world, looking at trend lines that are becoming headlines uh, and anticipating uh, things. And, and so not everybody has that benefit. And so I'll forgive him that advice, but the schools should be closed. The schools will be closed uh, through the summer and classroom work will be done through distance learning uh, and will be done uh, with the extraordinary heroism of mothers. And, and working parents and caregivers uh, that have to substitute uh, for those teachers and teachers that also have to substitute uh, their own time and attention away from their classrooms, even virtually, to take care of their own kids. Those are the real heroes at this moment. This is California Governor Gavin Newsom making short work of Devin Nunes, who, as late as this month in April, was still attempting to downplay the virus by suggesting that California schools shouldn't be closed. Yeah, that, that's not going to work. I mean, look, the schools were just canceled out here in California, which is, you know, way overkill. I mean, you know, we, it's possible kids could have went back to school in two weeks to four weeks, but they just canceled the rest of the schools. Uh, so, look, I'm optimistic here. Uh, I think that the drugs that are on the market now, look how quick we were able to get this approved, this new malaria drug uh, that you've been talking about every night. At this point, Devin Nunes exists solely to spout Fox News talking points, but at the same time is too stupid to know when they've already moved on from the debunked ones. Like, for example, that we shouldn't start packing kids into schools in the middle of a global pandemic. For whoever needs to hear this, no, we should not be sending kids to school. Because while it's absolutely important to get an education, part of that is surviving. I mean, come on, this guy is a United States congressman. So it'd probably benefit Nunez for once to stop getting his news from people like Devin Nunez. Seriously, this is the same talking point that he's been pushing for nearly a month now. Back in mid-March, Nunez showed up on where else but Fox News to encourage people to pack into pubs. And well, there's a lot of concerns with the economy here because people are scared to go out. Uh, but I will just say, one of the things you can do if you're healthy, uh, you and your family, it's a great time to just go out, go to a local restaurant. Yeah. Likely you can get in, get in easily. There's, you know, let's not hurt uh, the working people in this country that are relying on wages and tips to keep their small business going. You know, going. we're very so sympathetic. Don't run to the, don't run to the. Understood. Yeah, just don't run to the grocery store and buy, buy you know, $4,000 of food. Right, they're cleaning go, off the shelves. You know, shelves. go to your local, uh, local pub. We want to yeah. be very sympathetic. So when you wonder why we can't flatten the curve, why the virus is spreading so fast, why more and more people are dying every day, you can thank elected officials like Devin Nunes, who used his national platform to encourage people to be out in public because God forbid we don't get to eat at a pub. If Devin Nunes wants to be outside, by all means, the guy can spend all day licking handrails for all I care. But to use his platform to put other Americans in imminent danger is such a gross abdication of his responsibilities that the guy shouldn't even be allowed a Twitter handle, much less airtime on TV. By the way, the same goes for his promotion of a malaria drug that has yet to be tested or approved for use against the coronavirus by the FDA. When you start hawking drugs on air, while most people know that that's not a prescription, not everyone does. Because what you're left with is people self-medicating, like a couple from Phoenix did when they heard Trump promote chloroquine at a press conference, found something called chloroquine phosphate in their home, took it, the man died, and the woman was in critical condition. People will listen to what they're told by those in power, especially when they're scared. So instead of promoting chemical compounds on national television, Nunes and Trump would probably be better served not playing doctor and instead waiting for people with the medical degree to give the medical advice. And keep in mind, while Nunes is stupidly parroting dangerous fringe talking points like opening the economy back up and promoting untested drugs on national National TV, it's coming from the top. Devin Nunes doesn't actually have any original thoughts, he's just there to mindlessly
basically repeat whatever he hears from the only person he serves, Donald Trump. Which is why when we say that Trump is being irresponsible by having suggested since the very beginning that we'll soon be going back to work or packing the churches or hawking untested drugs on air, this is what we're talking about. Words matter even the stupid ones. So Governor Newsom is right to pay people like Devin Nunes zero mind, to defer to the experts and science and facts. So if Devin Nunes wants to follow his own advice, he should do exactly that. But the rest of us are gonna take steps to survive and not kowtow to a president looking out for himself.